was so looking out to hear from here but then uh, he's back on his feet and we were actually having a conversation on whatsapp and i told him and i'm very sure he's strong enough to hit it all full <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> Nice. <laughs> a whole full cow. I don't know what you mean. I say, of course, you're strong enough now to take a leak. I just keep on taking. All right, it's gonna be an amazing time, guys, because already I can feel the energy. Already I can feel all the old vibe happening here. And in case you're tuning in, this is now Radio One O Five Dot Nine FM, situated in Victoria Island, Amado Bellowy. Of course, that's where we are right now. All right, before we get to know um, or to get into a song, how and all that, let's get to meet the man behind those wonderful lyrics, those wonderful beats. Yes, of course, I know. Um, he has, uh, of course, every artist has their name, of course. Don't forget, we all have our name, like myself. My name is Jeffrey James, but on the radio, it's Jeffrey Scales. Uh, his artistic name is called Get a Kid's Miles, but I know that is not the official name they gave him. So let's get a meeting, get a uh, kid's man. Who is he? All right. Um, I am Miles. Miles. Yeah. Um, that's my stage name. Okay. Or my real name, pretty much. Yeah, that's the official name of the thing my parents gave me. Right, yeah. Amos. Yeah. Amos from where? Is Amos from the planet? My actually from the south side. Mm, west yeah. side, or the building, or the south side. Where is it south? Um, Patakot, Edo. Um, Edo State. Hmm. Yeah. The heartbeat of the nation. <laughs> I do need to carry last. I like the way you're ending the bed. Yes, of course. It is my yeah. sigma. Just to tell them, you know, when you went in secondary school and then uh, they want to call out for all the students to come. Oh, 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 you know, oh, oh, they had to ring the bell and say it's assembly time. So me ringing the bell is a sign of, oh, you guys come together because something is actually happening away. That's right. All right, okay. A little biography about you. Uh, you just said um, the name, Miles, stage name, then uh, your your original name. You hail from a dual state. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell us the journey so far from, because I know uh, you were not born in Lagos. No. Oh, you were born and then the hustle brought you down to Lagos. So tell us, let us into the journey so far. Okay, um, I was actually born in Christ State. Mm. Uh, in Orange. So um, my journey so far in the music scene has been really, really tough. You understand? Yeah. Because um, I've been, I, I think I've been pushing right from the days, mm. in my school days. I think my school days, yeah. Before I actually came to Lagos, like I think this is a, a ghetto kids mouse. How come the name ghetto kids? I didn't ask that. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, yeah, I'm from I'm from the ghetto. Mm. You understand? And um, I picked the name because no matter where I'll be, I, I'm always gonna remember where I'm from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, okay, get a kid. So we're all from the ghetto. We always have a starting point where we all started. Like, uh, and the, the, the funny thing is this: uh, what what was what was the thing with artists when artists are coming for interview? Uh, a lot of them, they always wear a hood with their shades. <laughs> they don't want you to see their eyes. You know, they're just tossing. Come on, what, why, why, why? What's up? What's going on, bro? I don't know about other artists, but uh, for me, I just take a look. Mm. And that's it. You just give it cool and I just give it a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't forget, I guess you're having a fantastic time and having a get a mouse sound. Oh. I I'm not trying to want to psych you. I'm not, no cap. I'm not trying to psych you here. No cap at all. His sound is rich. The melody is so, is so breathtaking. It's so eccentric. Let me use that word. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's talk about um, your music background. How did you get into music? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because often a lot of persons say uh, we started from church, you know, we're gospel choir, and then uh, the spirit of the world entered them and they came into the world. <laughs> so, do you have yeah. such a story as well? Bro, like, I, I'm actually not, I didn't start music from the church, but um, I've always loved music. Okay. Um, right from my, I think right from my primary school days, I used to write on a piece of paper, like, yeah. right, and I go to school and I sing out mm. and stuff. So I really started finding myself loving music. You get me? So um, I think um, during my days in, uh, I think in the um, Polytechnic, because okay. um, I graduated from Archie Polytechnic. Oh, yeah. that's another thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
So do you remember days in polytechnic, I actually started doing taking it kind of serious. You understand? And I started performing in school events and all those stuff. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. So I've been really into um, music. Oh, um, now that you're into music, I, I, I know there are times where we've seen cases of family kicking against certain person doing some type of profession. Like originally, I read economics in school. I, I'm a pure economics. I know how to do math and all that. And then when I eventually delve into the broadcasting world and my parents were like, what exactly is your life going to turn out to be? Is this what yeah, African parents? <laughs> you only get a grab. What is it? You want to just go there, that industry that is. But then when they heard my voice on the radio and they saw how people were coming, they were like, oh, that's my son. That's my son. <laughs> So how was it for you like when you and when your parents discover that you want to leave what you studied in school after paying all the bills and now you just want to focus on music? Okay, fine. Well, I'll say this. Um, actually, if my dad was to probably be alive today. Mm, blessed memories. Yeah. One, 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 one. <laughs> so he wouldn't literally love, uh, like me doing music. Wow. Yeah, very so, strict man yeah very very strict but my mom actually accepted like like me doing music and she just support me in everything i do and so right okay that's yeah. what we're talking about okay there's always going to be one or two support uh when we when, when, when we get this kind of stuff all right, okay, uh, uh, Miles has, has a lot of songs, but then uh, um, some of the songs, uh, we're going to be playing them to you one after the other. Now the okay, I feel like every person, they actually need a few songs to literally draw their attention. That's it. Yeah, you get me? So I'm literally now in that competing space with no artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. All right, I, I, I literally like David Do's lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> His lifestyle. Obio! <laughs> you get <laughs> that nigga. Bonner boy. Yeah. <laughs> I got really influenced by, this, I think, this genre of music. Mm -hmm. If you literally listen to my kind of music, you find the nature of the, the fusion, the dance floor, kind mm -hmm. of vibe it is. Yeah, I understand so I don't know. 